everybody. Ken recently had the amazing opportunity to explore the making of one of Gaylord Hotel's ice attractions. I'm jealous. This is so yep. awesome. We're I'm all jealous. jealous. And today, he is here telling us about his adventure, and he's also creating a DIY ice sculpture of his own that yes. was inspired by these yes. amazing artists. Yeah, and if you remember, the last, Gaylord has been here a couple times, and the last time yeah. I, heard, I was like, please let me go, please let, me, let, go. Go. let me go. Oh. I begged enough, so just be persistent, everyone, and eventually <laughs> You'll dreams get what you want. do come true. Yeah. And it was interesting because they've been here a couple times, and I've seen the video, and it's all very lovely, and it looks beautiful. But when you actually go there, it is mind-boggling. The, the resort in Nashville is actually nine acres under glass. Oh, my goodness. Nine wow. acres all oh under glass with all these live plants and, like, rivers. It's like a giant snow globe. It is gorgeous. It's like living <laughs> in a snow globe. They were just getting up the Christmas decorations. I was happy. Um, and then when you go in to see the ice sculpture, which all looks pretty, like, on camera, when you actually realize, I don't know what I was thinking, like they bring some, they mold some, but no, they just have big blocks of ice and are chiseling it all from hand, and by hand. It was mind-boggling. You were actually there to see that I was. chisel. I was. Well, I brought video there, tape back. Take a look at this. It was absolutely amazing. Martha, so good to see hey, you. Nick, we're so glad to have you. Thanks for coming. Better put this on, are this you ready? The famous parka, yes. okay. Every visitor of ICE gets a complimentary parka to wear, kids and adults, because it's just a little bit chilly in there. Okay, let me just get this straight. So, from what I'm seeing, the theme at Gaylord Opera Land is... Charlie Brown Christmas, right? It is. And then there's a different theme at each of the other Gaylords. Okay. So we also have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer at Gaylord National. Cute. Christmas Around the World at Gaylord Palms. And right. Twas the Night Before Christmas at Gaylord Texan. All right, I'm not going to lie, I'm freaking out a little bit by all of this. Oh, it's going to be the best time of your life. And the coldest. All right, <laughs> let's go. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to our winter wonderland. It's a wintry nine degrees in here to keep the ice intact. And this is crazy! We have two million pounds of ice to each property, so eight million pounds of ice is made in total. This is like a huge carved emerald. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, it's like gorgeous. <laughs> is it painted on? What's the... Uh... They actually make it with like basic food coloring that you find in your own kitchen. So when they're actually carving it, mm -hmm. it's like it's all color, color all the way through. Yeah. As I walked through the chili exhibit, I was in awe of what could be created out of frozen water. Beloved characters, landscapes, entirely interactive experience like these two-story tall ice slides. And the really incredible part was it's all hand carved. How many people are here carving? We have 160 carvers. They come across the globe all the way from Harbin, China, and then they spend 30 days carving each of these exhibits. Ice carving is a time-honored tradition in Harbin, China, dating back hundreds of years. These artisans have perfected their craft, and I found myself fortunate enough to meet one of these master carvers. Ni hao, ni hao ma. Who took some time to share his skills with me. This is nice, it's, hey. it's like oh. really fun. <laughs> it was an incredible experience and I was fully inspired to come back and try some of these techniques myself. Wow, Ken, you did that all by yourself, did you? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that learned a few yeah. skills, a few yeah. skills. You did that yourself? Uh, I did it myself. Yeah. But actually, right. Hallmark right. has a sponsored um, uh, attraction there. Kids, yeah, right? so Countdown to Christmas is actually sponsoring Gingerbread Corner, so Gingerbread Decorating Corner. So you actually go with your kids, not only is the hotel decked out, you go through this amazing ice exhibit, and they can actually decorate um, gingerbread houses, trains, people. Oh, the whole wow. thing is like okay, beyond. Well, I want to see what you learned. So now you are okay. going to make us a huge Charlie Brown um, character, right? <laughs> well, I don't think you're quite ready for that. Oh, I'm so okay. we're going to start off with a lantern. All right. Um, uh. So two things I found interesting is to, to set up a mold. We've done these before, but you kind of have to weight it and tape it. And if you're doing a bunch of them, kind of a problem. So I came up with this little mold here, which is just a deli cup and then a plastic drinking cup. And I just put a slit through it all and then pass through the paint stick. And I did it on different sizes. So if you want to do a whole bunch of them, set up this mold and you're good to go. Um, the next, which I was really like amazed by, was the color. 
Right. Like, and he just said it was like regular food coloring. So I tried a little like of my own, and all I did a little bit of just standard food coloring, either the little tiny ones or your big bottle. You need to get it mixed up thoroughly. Well, Mix it up it thoroughly, just, and it does move around even as it's freezing. Mm. Um, and then all you're going to do is pour it into your, your Meaning it your will cup. settle, or that when you say move around? Well, and he told me this. is like they have to stir it while it's freezing, and you'll see when I take them yeah. out that it's not necessarily consistent. Uh, oh, so um, it doesn't sort of have degradation. Right, which actually kind of looks cool because it almost gives it a marbled effect. And right. remember, you don't want to fill it up all the way because ice will expand. Mm. Pop that overnight in the freezer. You're good to go. Pop it out, then the next day, do another. Right. So I did these earlier. This one, if you can't get a stick through, just use some clamps to hold it down. Okay. Um, if you have problems getting it out, a little bit of warm water inside the cup. inside will loosen it up. Oh, okay. And then all, this is the one I did that was green and. Oh. Like, look at that. If you can see. How beautiful. Oh, actually, like I know. You I that prefer light. that. So you get I that like wonderfully that. marbling effect. Looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks like it's ombre. Exactly. And then when you get the, you know, the light in it, you know, it really sort of comes. Oh, how beautiful. Comes to light. It, right. I noticed, comes to light, yeah. Do you, I noticed it's not level. Well, it's interesting, but you realize that ice freezing is a very sort of volatile thing. Oh, right. It I moves around. These were all level, but it actually comes up and down as it freezes. So don't expect them to be perfect. Yeah. Um, and this is the big one I did, which and I just... And would you just soak that, that in? Yeah. Would you grab this and uh, put dump this in warm water? Yeah, dump it. Well? Like, look at that. Here? Look at that. Oh, so yes. you could do that. Get these buckets. Get a couple of them. Make a dozen of these to, like, go down your front walk at Christmas time. And if you don't live in California, you live where it's actually cold, you do this once and just it's leave them up all, all December. And yeah. they'll stay frozen. They'll stay frozen, right, as long as it's, you know, below 32 permitting. degrees. Exactly. The, the artists at Harbin have been doing this for 500 years. So I've been doing it now for about two weeks. So I'm so hoping that... How do you feel about your work? <laughs> <laughs> so your it's, next... it's no Charlie Brown, but, you Take know. a look at this at night because it is absolutely just wonderful. Oh, my wonderful. goodness, look at that, Ken. It's That's wonderful. beautiful. Our website is a place you can go uh, to get some more information. Also, so go to Christmas at GaylordHotels.com. A lot more information about staying at the wonderful Gaylord Hotel. It's fabulous, just and so you know. Visiting their winter wonderland. <laughs>